Welcome to a new video in the series The 2030 Agenda and God's Agenda. One day, in a small town surrounded by mountains, something unexpected happened. The river that used to supply everyone with water has dried up. The community was accustomed to having fresh water for drinking, cooking, and watering their crops. But without water, all that began to change. Plants began to wither and animals to die of thirst. Families could not wash their clothes or prepare a decent meal. Children who used to play happily in the field now spend their days trying to help their parents find water in distant places. Water scarcity is one of the most critical challenges facing the world. Today, it is a complex problem that is increasing every day, less than 2% water. Of the planet is sweet and accessible to human beings. We can survive a week without food, but not more than a week without water. In addition, water pollution due to the industrialization of the world is evident, generating a serious problem on our planet. Seeking a solution to the water problem, the sixth objective of the 2030 Agenda proposes. Ensure the availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Point one of this goal is, by 2030, to achieve universal and equitable access to drinking water at an affordable price for all. Goal six seeks to ensure that all people have access to safe drinking water and adequate sanitation services. This goal is essential for health, well-being, and sustainable development. This sixth goal includes several specific goals such as the following. 1. Achieve universal and equitable access to drinking water, an affordable price for all by 2030. 2. Achieve access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene services for all and end open defecation. 3. Improve water quality, reducing pollution, and increasing recycling, and reuse without risks. Number 4. Considerably increase the efficient use of water resources in all sectors. Number 5. Implement integrated water resources management at all levels. Number 6. Protect and establish water-related ecosystems such as forests, mountains, and rivers. This is very important. Access to clean water and sanitation is crucial to preventing disease and improving quality of life. Without these services, people are exposed to waterborne diseases, especially affecting children and vulnerable communities. Despite progress, millions of people still lack access to safe drinking water and sanitation. Challenges include pollution, inefficient management, and climate change. Some solutions that have been proposed are the following. For example, sustainable management, that is, implementing efficient water management practices. Also develop technologies for its desalination and purification. Promote water conservation education. These solutions have not been enough. Water is life and must always be free and guaranteed access for all people, regardless of race, social condition, and profession of faith. This is the approach of the 2030 Agenda. But in God's Agenda, it was already foreseen that human beings have the right to water resources. God himself provided the people of Israel when they were walking through the desert. 
when they lacked water. On different occasions, one of them by cleaning the bitter waters of Mara, the other by making water gush from the rock, guaranteeing that the vital liquid was not lacking in his people. Also after Samson won a battle, became very thirsty and cried out to the Lord, You have given this great salvation by the hand of your servant. How can you let me now die of thirst, fall and fall into the hands of these circumcised men? Then God opened the basin that is in lay, and water came out of it. Samson drank and regained his strength and revived himself. For this reason, he called that place that is in Lehi to this day in Akore, which translated is the source of the one who cries, God never leaves his children without water. It is not God's purpose that only a few enjoy the vital liquid. Before the 2030 agenda existed, the Bible already said, or all the thirsty come to the waters, come buy without money and without price. This is written by the prophet Isaiah. It was a hot day. Jesus and his disciples were walking towards Samaria and had to pass through the valley of Shechem. At the entrance of said valley was a well called Jacob's Well. Tired from traveling, he sat there to rest while his disciples went to buy provisions. While Jesus was sitting on the broom of the well, he felt weak from hunger and thirst. The journey had been long since morning, and he was now under the rays of the midday sun. His thirst was intensified by the evocation of the fresh water that was so close, although inaccessible to him, because he had no rope or pitcher, and the well was deep, he shared the fate of the human being and waited for someone to come and draw the water. Then a Samaritan woman approached and, ignoring his presence, filled her jar with water. When he was about to leave, Jesus asked him to give him a drink. No Oriental would refuse such a favor. In the East, water is called the gift of God. Offering drink to the thirsty traveler was considered such a sacred duty that the Arabs of the desert took special pains to fulfill it. The hatred that reigned between the Jews and the Samaritans prevented the woman from offering Jesus a favor. Who had made the ocean, the one who rules the waters of the abyss, the one who opened the springs and channels of the earth, rested from his fatigues by the well and depended on the kindness of a stranger for something as insignificant as a sip of water. The woman realized that Jesus was Jewish. In his surprise, he forgot to grant her what she asked for. And you inquire, and the reason for such a request as you, being a Jew, ask me to drink, that I am a Samaritan woman, he argued. Jesus answered, If you knew the gift of God, and who it is that says to you, Give me a drink, you would ask him, and he would give you living water. That is, it is wonderful that I ask for a favor as small as a sip of water from the well that is at our feet. If you had asked me, I would have given you to drink the water of eternal life. Jesus, who being on the cross, thirsty for you, thirsty for me, is willing to provide you with that water of life. Jesus is the source of eternal life and puts it at the opportunity for everyone to drink from that water. The Word of God in Ezekiel 36.25 says, I will sprinkle clean water on you and I will cleanse you. Come to the water of life and baby keep us apart complaining of thirst. Water is free for all. God desires to be our source of living water. We need pure water, but above all the water of life. That we only get in Jesus. That water source is limitless. 
Do you want to know more of that fountain that springs up for eternal life? I invite you to request a free Bible course. The water of life is still available to you. God bless you.